Hi, this is Cynthia, Subconscious at Work, and I have a lot of people that have been coming to me about muscle testing, that they're having a little bit of difficulty with it. So I thought I would do a short little video regarding how I learned, and I hope this helps you. Remember to always clear yourself. Make sure you are hydrated. Make sure you are grounded, shielded. Make sure that your absorption rate is zero. And then make sure any imbalances that lie in with you are removed. Any trapped emotions, make sure everything is 100% vitality for you to go forth with your client. That way you can do the very best for them. Also remember to believe in yourself and to have faith in what you are doing. As Dr. Nelson states, we need to pray and ask for guidance and no matter what religion you are, you have a divine source and ask that divine source to come in and to guide you. And then when you're done with the session, make sure you thank them for their guidance. What we're doing, whether it's in person, proxy, via phone, Zoom, Skype, just do your very best and believe in yourself. As we know, meridians are the energy that flow within us, that give us life force. Now, a lot of people do it from the chin, like this. They use these, or they use just a regular magnet to clear that meridian but also remember if a person is laying down and you can't get to their back you can use the chin to their pelvis region to also remove the negative energy within there remember that we're trying to realign which means we are removing the ne a negative energy and we're resetting so the positive energy can flow within the body the body already has all the abilities to heal itself. It just needs a little guidance. And that is what we're for. Now remember to keep it simple. Don't complicate it. Keep it pure. Believe in yourself and have faith in the muscle testing that you're doing. If you get stuck, pray. The guidance will come and you'll be able to feel that. And it will give you an answer. Get in the right mindset. Get out of your own way like... The old saying of cutting the tree down in front of your face where you can see the forest. Well, let's see the forest. Remember, do not let your ego play a role here. This isn't about us. This is about the client's welfare. When I first started learning 35 years ago, I was taught to put foods in bags like sugar, salt, coffee, flour, rice, whatever. And I would muscle test that, it was, whether it was good, better, or best. And then I switched to colors, whether this color went well with this color. Even though I already knew the answer, I wanted to see if my subconscious knew that answer. And then I'd start doing different names. And then asking questions that you already know the answer to. But let's just see if your muscle testing knows the answer. Now, we can muscle test in several different ways. We can use the arm like Dr. Brad does. Put your hand over here to balance the person so they're not teetering. And then make sure we have a wrist bone here and make sure that you are two fingers above that wrist bone. That way you do not do injury to your client. With adults, you use two fingers. With a child, one finger. And it's not about raw strength. You can feel when it breaks. Don't push any further because you don't want to injure somebody. There's also the elbow test where you bend the elbow. You can either do it in front of you or out to the side. In the same way, two fingers, one finger, and above that ankle bone. Or ankle bone, wrist bone, pardon me. Also, you can do the sway test. And it means forward is yes, backwards is no. But also I feel at times that we can sway our own answers by us wanting it a little too much for the client or for ourselves to be true or false. There's the ring and ring method. You can use any finger you want. You pull. This is yes. Pulling it through is no. And it's not a pull hard. It's a very light pull. You can also do this. 
crock your finger and in here with each and every finger because your hands are going to get tired and if they're getting sore then you're pulling too hard so back off a little and just do it lightly there is also the pendulum now if you do it clockwise if it goes clockwise that is a yes if it goes unclockwise it's a no maybe is side to side and front and back is neutral they also say you can use your tongue in your eyes which I've tried but it is very tiring so if you have any questions anything if you need some help with muscle testing I'm gonna start giving classes at the end of October and I will set out a note on the Facebook page please join us thank you for listening and enjoy your muscle testing. Enjoy assisting and helping your clients to a better life and a great healing journey. Namaste. Thank you very much.